Hello, everyone. Here is V Word, and I'm Abby. I'm so happy to see you again today. I will show you our new production. In order to improve user experience, we update Life Pro L1 switcher to the new version, Life Pro L1 V1. It changes in the appearance, which is lighter and easier to display heat. Let's have a look at how to use L1 for the fast live streaming and all its functions today. There are four HDMI inputs connected to four signal sources at the same time. One HDMI output and a DC 12 volt power interface. On the left side of L1, there is a LAN interface for controlling and upgrading. USB 3.0 interface for live streaming and audio input output. Now let's see how to use L1 for fast live streaming. First, we power L1 via this 12 volt adapter and input the signals. L1 supports up to 4 HDMI signal inputs. Now we connect all 4 HDMI inputs for HDMI out. Here we connect CTEC ATEM 156 multi view monitor for better monitoring. If you use a microphone and a sound card, you can connect the interface of the headset monitor of the sound card to audio input. If you use a wireless microphone, you can connect the interface of the headset monitor of the microphone to the audio input. Next, we connect L1 the switcher to the PC via USB 3.0 cable. Life Pro L1 is compatible with much third-party streaming software. Here we recommend OBS and take it as an example. You can find and download the OBS version for your PC on the official OBS website. After installing the OBS software, double-click to run it, and then click Sources to add a video capture device which you can create new and name the device. Then click device to choose. Here we choose FreeWorld USB 3.0 capture and click to confirm. Then we can see the information of output have been displayed. For the audio, we click sources to add audio input capture. Until here, we finish the set on audio output. Click setting in the lower right corner and select stream. In the service column, we select custom and then fill in the server and stream key to complete the streaming setting. Here we take YouTube as an example and look at how to make the live streaming on YouTube. Click create. In the upper right corner, click go live. Copy stream key and stream URL to OBS. Then click Confirm, click Stream in OBS Finally. Now we can see that it's already on live. Now let's learn more about all the functions and the details on the operation of L1. Here is the volume knob. Turn it to adjust the volume of PGM. Let's see the SW button. Press SW to enter the transition effects menu mix. There are 14 effects totally. Then turn the push knob to select the effect you want. And press push to confirm. Double press SW2 mode with thrust and T bar for selection. Here we choose fast first. We can set the switching time from 0.5 to 5 seconds. Let's set the time into seconds. Then press the signal source button. And now the time to achieve the switching is 2 seconds. Double press SW again to mode and choose T-bar. Then push T-bar to achieve the picture switching. 
Please kindly note to hear that when the switch mode is in T bar, all the buttons and the knobs on L1 will be unavailable if T bar is not pushed to the side. Press SW three times to enter picture in picture. L1 sports nine picture in picture effects. Turn the push knob to select the picture in picture effect you like and press the volume knob to confirm. As it shows, picture in picture is in the upper right corner of PST on the monitor. Now let's set the main and sub screens. In the V1 menu, you can see that the A screen is now displayed. Select the signal source to set the main screen. Press the push knob to switch to the B screen and set the source key to set the sub-screen. After setting, push T bar to switch screen. Now let's see how to turn off the picture-in-picture -picture effect. Select off, then press T bar and switch the pictures. Select the signal sources again to turn off the picture-in-picture -picture effect. Press menu and enter the main menu. Then select input and press the push knob to enter input. Here we can see all the information of four HDMI inputs, including the resolution and the frame rate. Press menu and select HDMI. It shows the information of output and format of HDMI. In output, it includes preview and PGM. The monitor displays a 6-split picture when selecting preview and displays a picture when selecting PGM. In format, you can choose the resolution according to your needs. Here we can use a shortcut to switch. Press the push knob. You can complete a quick switching in PGM. Press menu and select USB 3.0. It shows the information of output and format of USB 3.0. In output, it includes preview and PGM. The monitor displays a 6 split picture when selecting preview and displays a signal picture when selecting PGM. In format, you can choose the resolution according to your needs. Press menu and select audio. It shows source and audio bar. In source, it includes embedded, external, input 1 to input 4. The output of audio is the audio connected to L1 audio in when selecting external. The output of audio is the audio from the signal sources connected to four HDMI inputs when selecting embedded. For audio bar, it's displayed at the top left of the screen, can be turned on and turned off. When it's turned on, it can help you monitor the audio input better. Press menu and select IP setting. Here we can set the IP address manually to connect the computer and L1 switcher in the same LAN by push knob. Press menu and select inform. It shows the information of device SN, IP address, MAC address, MCU version and video version here. All the operations above are about how to use L1 for fast live streaming and all L1 functions. Thank you for watching. If you want to know more, please leave the messages or contact us in these ways. Here is free word. I'm Abby. See you next time. Bye bye.